From clothing to home decor, painted fabrics for homes and hotels, heritage designer Glenn Brathwit has created a life in the arts and he's still living it. Over the years, the creative director of Genki Designs has also designed costumes for film, stage, and masquerade. His career took off at a very tender age. I was like 14, and there was a national designers competition, which my mother's seamstress insisted I enter. And um, she made the dress for me for free. That, that was my start. And out of that, there were like workshops and, you know, I was like teaching color to people. I mean, things that just really came natural to me. And with the changing of the guard and the leaving of the country, I came home, I went to Switzerland. Well, first Toronto, uh, Ryerson Polytechnic. Then I went to Switzerland and I was interned to a design shop there. And I could have stayed and I don't know why I came home, but I came. And the episode kind of changed a little bit. I went to Harrison's. I was the leading, I was the visual merchandiser at Harrison's, 15 branches to handle. That was kind of exciting. And then I left that and I started my own line, which went like global in a year. We were selling to Fred Siegel, Bang Bang, organic cottons, all on, all on the US, the, the west, um, US front of California, San Francisco and New York. So I worked for Claudia Pegas, I worked for Heather Jones, I worked for Zoltan, if I was artistic director at Zoltan for like five years. And then I was PA to Claudia Pegas for another four. And yeah, out of that I paid off my debt and came home and, and transitioned into something new in a funny kind of way. I transitioned into theater. Glenn believes that our home decor and clothing should be reflective of our Caribbean culture. His latest creations feature foliage, fauna of Caribbean heritage, usually made from Sea Island, Egyptian and Indian cottons, as well as rayon and silks. I love fashion and my, my idea of fashion is, is to stay within my space, which, which is a holiday, relaxed resort space. While you're ready to work, which should could cross over into what you wear to lunch, which could cross over into what you wear in the evening. The rest of the world has managed to create that in a very urban, professional, commercial sense. We are not that space. We are a hot space, we are a relaxed space. We, so I really think that we need to, to become a, little, a lot more relaxed in how we, how we put forward our point of view as, as Caribbean people. The designer has a set schedule every day, which includes cooking and gardening, as well as time to think, rest, and um, reflect. Potting space, drying herbs, and there's gonna be a little table here, and, and it's a nice little spot of breeze comes up. The fact is I'm still at work, and I'm still functioning within the creativity of my mind, but I'm not squandering it on on production to the point where you think that, yeah, he's working really hard. But because what what's left after that, if you don't put, if you don't put major thought into it, major concept into it, and like I said, your work should outlive you. And it's looking like it will, as Glenn continues to produce treasures that can be passed on as Caribbean memoirs for generations to come.